guys, welcome back. Uh, this is another setup process video uh, that Wendy requested. Last week was my weekly setup process um, and that video will be linked at the end of this one. Um, today's video is my daily setup process. Um, this is a new traveler's notebook uh, that was not in last week's video. Uh, this is a speckled fawns uh, pocket size or they call it field note size. Uh, and this is the nude leather and then this is the uh, it's olive and I keep forgetting what it's called. <laughs> um, I will be going into more detail in next week's video when I do my whole February setup. But um, in the meantime, let's take a look. This is what this week looks like. Um, and uh, you'll notice I only did the Alistair columns for my sort of uh, media production schedule on this page and then this page is just a straight to-do list um, but I promised one day I would go over exactly what I do with my um, Alistair weeks basically so if you're not even familiar at all the Alistair method uh, was developed by a guy named Alistair something um, he has a last name um, who devised it as a future log method um, and basically he would have a column, you know, one through 12 or whatever across. And then uh, you put a dot or a circle or whatever in the column of the month that the event happens. And then you put the event over on the right. And so uh, as you come to that month, you go down your column and you say, oh, look, all the stuff that's happening in January. And that way you don't have to put things in order or figure out how much space you're gonna need before you need it. Because um, it always happens, you don't put enough space and then you end up you know having something look messier than you'd like or whatever so the way i do this with my weeks um is instead of months along the top it's just dates so this is the dates of monday through sunday for last week and whenever see this over here was my video stuff and you'll see like i got a lot done on monday and a couple things done later in the week um i didn't get as ahead as i would have liked but that's fine these were just there to sort of a reach for the stars ambitious thing um, these are just my general to-do list and basically uh, as I was looking ahead I would put a dot I would say all right yeah um, I need to do whatever like I'm not gonna start the laundry I'm doing the laundry on Wednesday for example so say it's Monday and I'm gonna do the laundry on Wednesday I'm setting up my Tuesday and I don't want like I like having sort of somewhere to to put a task before I get to the day it's due. If I don't have these columns, like the best this week I can do is like I know that I was gonna do like this on Wednesday, I was gonna do this on Saturday. I just kind of have it marked here. Alternatively, you can put it on your monthly calendar. Um, there's some things that are, you know, on here. So that when I get to that day, I just pull it up and go, okay, there's a to-do that's already on my calendar. Um, but basically I use the Alistair when I have like enough things going on in my week that I really want to be able to uh, set aside specific days for specific tasks ahead of time without having to set up my dailies in advance or um, yeah, basically that. So I don't usually do like a calendar across my weekly because it feels like there's never enough space for that. And the thing with the Alistair method is that you have as much space as you need. You just, um, you know, if you're gonna do everything on Monday, you just keep writing them the same list. Um, so this week, I didn't feel like I really needed it for my general to-do list. Um, these are just things around the house, all these chores that I haven't gotten to yet, and a couple other things. Um, I've put a star here this week that for me just means it's an ongoing project, like this change of address thing. Like, I need to change my address in multiple different places. I'm trying to do it at like two places every day to sort of make it easier. Um, so it gets a star. This week that star just means that it's an ongoing project um, that's going to take multiple days to work on. But then I did feel like uh, my media production schedule needed to have these Alistair weeks um, to allow me to 
really figure out what I was going to do ahead of time. Because not only do I have my three weekly videos to make, uh, it's also the week that I'm editing the podcast that I do for myhogwarts.com. Um, and then I also want to get, if possible, ahead a little bit on some of my videos for the next couple weeks because the next two weekends are busy for me, so I really have to get stuff done earlier. Um, so I, um, what I actually did is these little circles are the day that the video goes up. So I put the circle on the end screen column because that's the last task to get done. Um, usually I will put just a dot, like it's, say the video is going up on Sunday, I'll put a dot here. Um, but then as you see, I already did the end screen today on Wednesday, so then I have to erase the dot. I don't know. I just decided to put the circles there so that I would have like, it has to get done by at least then. So like here I'm filming this video on this Wednesday and I've got all of the, the dots for everything to get done on Wednesday for this video. Um, some of these things, the different segments, like I did work on this today and then we're going to record it tomorrow and hopefully edit it tomorrow. I was able to get stuff done for this on Tuesday and then uh, yeah I did all this on Monday so like I have I guess I kind of figured out like what chunks to do things in and then I was like all right I'm gonna do this on Monday this on Tuesday this on Wednesday and then I'm able to look at it and go okay there's a dot in every column so everything has been assigned a day if it has a dot in a column later on in the week I don't have to worry about it right now I hope that makes sense. Um, I kind of use it differently in different cases. I, I use these columns for, um, like here's an example. Uh, these are weeks in a typical My Hogwarts year that I have columns. Um, here there's like two, two columns for things that I want to get done twice a year for chores, that kind of thing. Um, basically having multiple columns just allows you to save a little bit of space, but also not have to worry about running out of space um, if things are, or, or about writing things out of order. Um, because sometimes I like to write my tasks in chronological order. Um, this way you don't really have to do that quite as much. So these are my dailies this week. They are pretty basic. I know last week I set aside some space ahead of time. I just, I guess I felt like it. Um, but this week I'm just doing things as they come along. So I've got like a header and then this is the dinner plan. But let's go ahead and get Thursday the first set up. It is February already. The first bit of the year has just been flying by. Of course it always does, but we've been so busy. Uh, I am using my Pigma Micron 05 for this. Um, because the friction ink smudges when it gets wet. So I wanted to use something that's not gonna smudge. And then I will highlight it in a second once that's had a chance to thoroughly dry. So, uh, let's see, today I did do that. I'm obviously, oh no, I'm doing that right now. And I will do this later, hopefully. But I'm not adding anything else to this, uh, to this to-do list. There's a couple things I still want to get done this evening before the day's over, but sorry if you hear the dog, uh, he enjoys having carpet in the house. All right, so um, basically I'm looking at my weekly to-do list and my weekly schedule and picking tasks that need to get done. So let's see, I wanted to work on this. This is sponsors list. Basically, um, you know how they have like uh, plaques and stuff when people donate to like build a building or a wing of, or, or whatever. Um, we were going to make sort of a play off of that um, and basically list out where we got the different things in our kitchen um, from all of like our wedding gifts and stuff. So we'll be able to say, look, you know, this kitchen is sponsored by blah, blah, blah. The blender is from so-and-so and the cutting board is from so-and-so and that kind of thing. Um, we thought that'd be fun. So I'm going to be working on typing that up tomorrow. Uh, let's see, Saturday change of address. Like I said, I've been doing times two times two. <laughs> Again, that's the dog. He wanted to be in here with me, but now he wants to go out. Sorry. Did two more cha uh, address change places. I have a list in here somewhere a few pages back of all the different bank accounts and things that I want to contact. 
I'm gonna have to make a few phone calls, which will be fun. Uh, let's see, I'm going to send a PM on my Hogwarts. I'm going to uh, maybe do some chores. I don't have a lot of confidence that I'm gonna get this stuff done because I have so much stuff over here and then we're gonna be out of town for the weekend. So it might just be like, oh well, we'll clean the bathroom next week and no one will notice. Uh, let's see, so we have two, that'll be done. This one actually, I need to just still write the description for this video, it's already scheduled. And that's the one for Sunday. And then I will be all set ahead of time before we leave for the weekend. Uh, then, yes, we have to hopefully, I'm not even going to schedule this because this is dependent on someone sending me a file. Um, so if it comes, then I'll know to do it. If it doesn't come, then it will get postponed. But in the evening, we are going to record an interview. And then obviously I'll have to edit podcast. That'll include the interview segment and the other segment that I'm receiving an email if it comes. And look at that, that's exactly as much space as I needed. Let's go ahead and pull out. This is the um, Zebra Mild Liner uh, in the color brown, I guess. Uh, it matches this washi tape from Simply Gilded, sort of. I mean, it's brown. It's not fancy colored, but I happen to like it. All right. That just gives it a bit of a header, and then dinner is going to be fettuccine alfredo. Ooh. I'm gonna write that right down right now. I have to uh, defrost the chicken. All right, and then I think that is basically it. Uh, are there any collections? I think there's a collection I need to fill out every day, but I may have already done that. This is a new setup, and so I'm still trying to remember where all of my different collections are. Yes, I already did it. This is the collection where I track which bra I wore every day so that I know when to wash them. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, I, other thing, this is the sort of thing that I always forget to do um, until hopefully not too late. Um, I have to actually look at my calendar and yeah, the fridge rebate, that's something that I wanted to do, so I'll just put that here. Alright. And... I'm gonna put this, uh... over here. Because when I set up my Friday, I'll see. Set out water because I have to have a bunch of water ready to go to chug first thing in the morning before the ultrasound on Friday morning. Oh, I'm looking forward to this week being over. It has been tiring. All right, so I think that is everything. Um, it's a pretty basic setup. I'm not doing anything too decorative and uh, you know, you could pull tasks off your weekly to-do list and off your monthly to-do list and that is how it's done like with anybody else. Um, yeah, I feel like if tomorrow, if I have extra time, ideally it would be nice to spend some of that extra time doing some of the cleaning things, but um, we might spend any extra time I have watching Daredevil because we have been watching Daredevil and uh, yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> We're on season two, trying to get caught up in all the different Marvel shows. So uh, yeah, look forward to next week when I'm gonna do a full flip through of this whole setup in here. It's a chunky little guy, which is not something I'm used to. I usually prefer a more svelte traveler's notebook, um, but I'm pretty happy with what we've got going here. I'm very excited about the new notebook and I uh, will be showing you all of the details in next Thursday's video. Um, Sunday is a get ready with me. Uh, so you get to see what I don't do with my makeup every day, but I did do for you on camera. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because small creators need your subscriptions. Um, 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.